Good day everyone. Once again, this is Teacher Grace, your online math teacher. So today I am going to discuss this topic, visualizing percent and its relationship to fractions, ratios, and decimal numbers using models. So let's define first percent. So when we say percent, it came from the Latin word percentum, which means for every hundred. A percent is a ratio of a number to 100. It is represented by the symbol percent. So let's say this illustration. So as you can see, this hall is divided into 100 equal parts and then some parts of it are being shaded. So let's count the number of shaded part. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So that means 6 dito, so 6 din dito, so 12 yun, and then 1, 2, 3, 4 so that means 4 din yung nandito, so 8 so 12 plus 8 is 20 so 20 parts of it are being shaded or 20 out of 100 so how are we going to write it in percent form so in percent form, this is written as 20% how about in decimal form? So, in decimal form, all you have to do is just to cross out or remove the percent sign. Then, afterwards, you're going to move the decimal point to the left twice. One, two. Then, in decimal form, 20% is written as 20 hundreds. So, how about in fraction form? So, in fraction form, this is written as 20 over 100. But, you have to reduce this into lowest term. So, what is the GCF of 20 and 100? So, 20. So, 20 divided by 20 is 1. 100 divided by 20 is 5. Then, the answer is 1 pips. So, how about in ratio form? So, in ratio form, since that we already reduced the fraction form in lowest term, so, ito na lang yung ating isusulat, ano? So, 1 is to 5. So, that means, in percent form, so, 20%. In decimal form, 20 hundreds. In fraction form, it should be 1 pips. And then, in ratio form, it should be 1 is to 5. So, discuss pa natin ito, no? Discuss para mas man-master pa natin. Alright. So, now, how to change or changing percent to fraction, no? So, percent may be written in fraction form. To change percent to a fraction, remove the percent symbol and write the number as numerator, then 100 as denominator. This is from the definition that percent means for every hundred. Change the fraction to lowest term if possible. So, kanina, naipakita naman na natin na i-change natin into lowest term, no? Pero, mag-example pa tayo. So, let's say, percent to fraction. Okay. So, let's say, 25%. How are we going to write this in fraction form? So, Etong 25, ito yung magiging numerator niya. And then, etong percent sign, di ba per 100 nga, ibig sabihin yan. So, 25 over 100. Then, re-reduce natin sa lowest term by dividing both the numerator and the denominator to its GCF. So, the GCF of 25 and 100 is 25. So, 25 divided by 25 is 1. 100 divided by 25 is 4. Then, the fraction form of 25% is 1 fourth. Okay. Another example. So, let's say 17%. So, in fraction form, this is written as 17 over 100. So, wala naman na silang GCF, kaya hindi na kailangan pang reduce into lowest term. Okay, next. 
changing percent to decimal. Percent may also be written as decimal number. To change percent to decimal, write the percent as a fraction, then divide the numerator by the denominator. So, let's say uh, 25%. So, this is the percent form. Uh, paano naman siya kapag decimal na? Okay, just remove the uh, percent form and then move the decimal point to the left twice. So, 25 hundreds. Uh, how about this one, 3%? How are we going to write this in decimal form? So, it should be written as, so remove natin yung percent form muna and then move the decimal point to the left twice. 1, 2. Then the answer is 3 hundreds. Okay. So, ganun lang kadali. Another changing percent to ratio. Percent is a ratio with 100 as the second term. So, to change the percent ratio, remove the percent sign and write 100 as the second term. Pero sabi nga natin, kailangan i-reduce din siya sa lowest term. So, let's say 50%. So, percent form ito. O, paano sa ratio? It should be 50 is to 100. Kaya lang, since na kailangan i-reduce sa lowest term, what is the GCF of 50 and 100, di ba? 50. So, 50 divided by 50 is 1. 100 divided by 50 is 2. Then, the answer is 1 is to 2. Okay. So, another. 23%. So, this is written as 23 is to 100 in ratio form. There's no need for you to reduce it into lowest term. Wala na kasing, wala na kasing GCF si 23 and 100. Okay, so that's all for now. Thank you for watching.